Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. Today is Wednesday afternoon. So you know what? I figure it's been a while. Okay, we play with the niche grinder and also Lapaboni Pro here. So let's bring it back. Okay, let's bring it back. Uh, by the way, if you have Lapaboni at home, let me know in the comment section. Okay. So I'm. So this is the pre millennium, which means the made before 2000. So actually, this is uh, uh, made in sometime in 90s. So it's about 30 years old, just over 30 years old. And uh, man, this thing is rock solid. So if you don't know what Lapaboni is, think of it as a big boiler right here. And then and some steam on. That's it. Steam on. There's no PID. Uh, heating management stinks. Okay, that's for sure. Comes the group hat. I mean, you have. I mean, you have about good. Maybe like two shots, maybe three shots. All depends on the how fast you go. And after that, it's gonna get overheat. So uh, again, but man, I mean, this is really fun to use. It's really fun. I've been really enjoying it for a long time. You don't have to worry about breaking it. I mean, you cannot break this, okay? You're gonna have for, goodness, it's 30 years old, rock solid. I mean, if you are into kind of like Italian style, uh, Italian style uh, coffee that should be perfect as well and uh, uh, let's make some cappuccino okay so we got a shout out to is uh, AJ shout out to AJ I mean this is really fun and also he uh, AJ is correct most frustrating uh, coffee machine okay definitely coffee machine for sure I'm gonna shout out to after our coffee for Tijuana Mexico All right you got Tijuana Mexico there uh, we have so we got our regular also joining us as well, Rain, and we are doing the simulcast with our Discord family as well. Yeah, we got the uh, two uh, camera going. Anyway, so let's yeah let's make some coffee. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on first. All right, I'm gonna turn it on. Hold on, let me show you guys. Let's see here. So again, so this is a 49 millimeter, by the way. So this is a 49. It's not a 51 like uh, post millennium, but I mean, works still good as you can see. I mean, you gotta grease it up, okay? You, uh, make sure you gotta do the regular maintenance for sure. Uh, once in a while, if you don't grease it up, sometimes this uh, gas gets stuck, so. Yep. Let's see what else I can tell you about this coffee machine. Uh, that's about it. Okay, uh, let's brew some coffee. Uh, we got friends from all over the. We got uh, Philip from New Zealand as well. We got Ren from New York City. New York City. All right, let's make some coffee. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera for you guys. Okay. So unfortunately, I cannot use 18 grand uh, with with a Lapaboni because I have the stock basket. So this uh, this may be good for like 13 gram. You know, I say good for 13 gram there. I'm gonna stick with the 13. Uh, let's use an niche grinder. Again, I got already measured that 13 gram. There we go, and uh, don't forget the, my plunge to get all the coffee grinds out. I cannot find the 49 millimeter dosing funnel, so this is kind of like my homemade. My dosing funnel here, a lot of static though. Yeah, definitely needs RDT. Yeah, definitely you can use some RDT there. <coughs> I'm just going to declump a little bit. Before I'm going to pre uh, prepare the puck, I'm going to check the temperature on my group head. Okay, check the temp. 
I'm just gonna purge a little bit. Let's check the group temperature. I'm at around 180 right now, okay. I want to be around like, you know, 190 or so. So I'm, I'm just gonna cheat a little bit. I'm just gonna heat up my, the, the, oh, it's called micro pump. Okay, I'm just gonna bring the hot water into the uh, group chamber there. Just introduce. Oh yeah, we're at 180. Let's take a look. 186, 185. That's good. Uh, since uh, we are using the kind of like medium to dark roast right now, I think I'm okay with it. Okay. This is medium to dark roast. Uh, let's do some little bit of puck prep here. Again, so this is my homemade dosing funnel here. Just like so. And then, so this, you, you can actually get it from Amazon as well. Okay, you can get it from Amazon. And there you go, just temper. Again, that's 49 millimeter temp. Let's go nice and easy. I, I usually put the puck paper on the bottom. I totally forgot, but I do want to put on the top, okay? Put the paper on the top. This is not exactly right fit, but and that definitely helps. The Definitely prevent the... I'm gonna show you why I want to use this. I want to use the paper. Check out the, the pressure coming out from La Pavone, okay? I'm gonna give you guys Okay, make sure to check out the, the this very violent. Let's put it that way. Watch this. You see that? There is not gentle. Okay, this is not gentle. Uh, coming out from the shower, shower screen. I'm just gonna do that. Okay, I'm just gonna gently put it in. I'm gonna get my mic ready. I got, I'm getting my little bit of whole milk today. Little cappuccino. Here's my cut. Ah, uh, you know what? I do want to measure. I'm using the 13 grams. So uh... you know what? Let's do a little cortado. Yeah, let's do cortado there. Yep, doesn't fit. I'm just gonna transfer that. Okay. So let me show you, okay? Let me show you my workflow. So here we go. I'm looking for about 26 gram. I'm just gonna gently lock into place. Lift gently. Yep, lift gently here. I'm just kinda like let it up, okay? Right now, we are doing the pre-infusion right now. If you see a uh, couple drops, I'm using the pressure from the group pad to doing the pre-infusion. Okay. I'm still waiting right now. Uh, could be the grind size might be too fine there. Okay. I'm just gonna Gentle push. Yeah, definitely grind size do a little bit fine. It's all right. Okay. Coming down. I'm just going to go easy into it. Oh, 
around 26 grams to 30 grams of coffee. Slowly taper. Okay, I'm just gonna go, let's go 30 gram, lift. About 31 gram. Look at this beautiful shot here, folks. This is beautiful. All right, so let's steam some milk. I'm just gonna heat up my cup. Okay. Again, the milk steaming is also Same method, we are going to create the micro bubble. There we go. Just make sure wipe it clean. Okay, and don't forget to flush. Make sure shut it off. Okay, after you're done. All right. I'm just gonna transfer my espresso to cup here. And let's do some little bit of latte art, okay. Here we go. Hopefully you guys can see this. So this is my little, this is more like flat white. Looks pretty good to me, all right. Looks pretty good, all right. So that's my, kind of like La Pavone, the workflow there. Okay, uh, one more thing. The removing the puck right now, go very, very gently. Okay, I'm just gonna go, do not go fast. That's it. Okay, so this is why I like to put the, uh, the paper, the puck paper right on the top. Pretty much it, so let's give it a try. <coughs> and let's give it a try, the, the, uh, the I kinda like, is that cappuccino? So this is more like, yeah, little cappuccino. You could say a uh, flat white as well. Here we go. Cheers, guys. Man. Not bad. Okay. It's not silky as my uh, look like Bianca. It's not silky, but still good. Okay, I have to say they're still really, really good. So. Uh, uh, by the way, if you have your lap bunny home, yeah, let me know, okay? I mean, how do you, how do you like it? Hold on, we got some shout out to Joe. All right, shout out to Joe from Espresso. Hey, Joe, do you, uh, do you happen to have uh, 83 millimeter, like, like Caspers or SSP, or like low uniformity? Yeah, let me know, okay? Let's see, we got Richard from France as well. Uh, it's a, uh, someone asked me, uh, is a wood puck screen do the same? Yeah, a puck screen should be the fine. Okay, I mean, I don't have a puck screen for 49 millimeter, so yeah, uh, puck screen would be great too. Because again, so you want to, you know, keep the, uh, your shower screen clean. So that's the whole point. Uh, Jesse. Okay, hold on a second. Jesse asks, I would love for you to make a video about cost of ownership on an espresso machine. Maybe Bravo Brista Express versus Bianca. I mean, that's simple, okay? Bravo Brista Express, just the machine and coffee, right? Would it look like Bianca? Goodness, so you gotta buy the Bianca. You have to go buy some grinder first, okay? You have to buy the, you know, gadgets, the tools, if you wanted to. 
with a Brisa Espresso Pro that comes with a temper as well. I mean, in reality, that's all you need. And plus the coffee. So, hold on. So, let's see here. Joe say he has a high uniformity at the moment. Gamma Shimmer from 83. Oh, okay. That's good. That's excellent there. That's excellent. Hey, Joe, is that, you know, I'd I love to find out, okay? Is that 83 high uniformly taste like MP? So because I know uh, 98 millimeter uh, SSP, the high uniformity, the HU burst, uh, kind of like tastes like, I, I hear from a lot of people, tastes like MP burst. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I do want to find that. Okay, I do want to find that as well. Let's see, what else? Uh, shout out to uh, Darren. Uh, Darren say, is a Bravo built-in grinder good enough for espresso? Is that good enough? I mean, that's the... Okay, if you're using the medium to dark roast, all right, kind of like Italian style, kind of like nutty chocolate, not, spe you know, not crazy fermentation process, answer is yes, okay? It's definitely they're good enough for those kind of coffee beans. But once you're getting into, I think I, I did mention earlier this morning, once you're getting into like, you know, different types of process like natural process, supernatural, double fermentation, uh, fermentation for like 90 hours, okay? I mean, very extremely light roast. Answer is no, all right? You want something better than the built-in grinder. If you don't go uh, kind of like, Getting into really, really specialty coffee, uh, built-in grinder, you're gonna have some hard time. Yeah, but again, I mean, if you're doing just regular daily, 99% of the time, you're gonna be just fine. Okay, definitely. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, so Joe, so Joe's gonna hook me up with some 83 millimeter burrs as well. That's great. Let's see. Again, uh, you know, it seems like nobody talking about La Pabonis lately, okay? I know we got the Flare 58. It's been very popular the last couple of years. So maybe, you know what, every, my plan is every Wednesday, <coughs> uh, we are going to play with some kind of lever coffee machine, okay? Could be La Pabonni, could be Flare 58 as well. Uh, uh, Grant asked me, is it La Pabonni or flat uh, Flare 58? If you, if you are into, okay, if you are into espresso only, if you don't care about like cappuccino, if you don't care about that, uh, Flare 58 is, eight is fantastic. <clears throat> okay, Flare 58 is fantastic. I know uh, Ryan on the Discord right now, he loves it. I know quite a few people because you don't have to worry about uh, managing the heat. So it's a lot, kind of like low maintenance as well. Only thing you need is uh, the Flare 58, obviously. Uh, it's some kind of uh, kettle. Yeah, some kind of kettle, so yeah. But with the Lapaboni, a lot of learning curves. We got a jockey is, by the way, we have a Lapaboni expert in the live chat right now. So if you have any uh, Lapaboni question, I'm gonna direct to the Asian dev, okay? Asian dev, uh, Jackie also known as the Asian Dev, uh, he has a pretty nice setup and he's really good at it. So if you have any question with Lapaboni, ask him. All right, let's see here. Let's see, we have uh, AJ has question. Okay, Lapaboni, yep, again. Okay, put all upgrade to IMS, yep, temperature strip, sure. Uh, I think I do need to get a, I, I got the IMS shower screen for sure, but I do want to get a like a bottomless port filter. So this is the original stock uh, port filter, but you can get a uh, IM. You can get a bottomless, and you can put the bot, uh, IMS uh, filter basket. So you can actually dose out about 18 gram if you wanted to. So I'm planning on doing that down the road. But 13 gram shot, it's not that bad either. All right, I'm really enjoying the coffee from it. Yeah, they're fantastic as well. Let's see here, we have a 
Let's see, we got the NEC club. I'm going to get a IMS basket for my Brista Express. Uh, okay, if you are getting the okay, if you are getting IMS filter basket, the shower screen. If you're gonna spend money on it, uh, I think I get the in, instead of a shower screen, get the puck screen. Okay, I get the puck screen or paper, puck screen or paper. I think. I think you're gonna have a better money for that. All right, definitely puck screen. I like really having that dry puck every single time. So puck screen is only about what? 10 bucks or so, a lot cheaper than shower screen as well. Yeah, I'm gonna put the link down below if you want. Okay. Okay, so uh, Jackie asked me, are you going to get Argos? The Argos is, is called, they used to be named as Odyssey and they changed to Argos. They're like manual express machine. Not the manual, kind of like, think of it as a Lapaboni, but it's a modernized, okay? Instead of a 49 or 51, uh, that's 58 millimeter port filter, and has a built-in PID, and also comes with, an you know, obviously Steam One as well. Uh, looks pretty slick, okay? And they're, they're pretty slick, so, yeah, ch check it out, okay, Argos. I'm gonna shout out to Ross. He's the inventor. Hold on, say so, and they, they uh he say Jackie say what they say they will be shipping out review units reviewers in in a few weeks. Hopefully I can get one. Okay, hopefully I can get one. It'd be great, All right? And definitely I love to check it out. I mean it's been waiting. Well, it's been over a year now. Okay, it's been delayed about a year or so. Yeah. Maybe a lot of fun there. Uh, let's see, uh, shout out to Mr. Rainbow. Mr. Rainbow loves coffee. Okay. And uh, hold on, we have Jesse. Hold on, we got Jesse. What would Jesse say? Jesse asked, are you, going, are you ever going to sell some of your equipment? Uh, you got a quite of, okay, so here's the thing about the, my collections, okay? Uh, they're gifts uh, from a lot of vendors over the years. Because I, I don't want to kind of like sell my gifts. I mean, I mean, imagine if you like, you know, one of your friends or family member gifts something and uh, you're going to sell it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not feel comfortable with that. But I might give it away though. Okay, I might give it away instead of selling. So we have Alan from Utah. Okay, we have Alan from Utah as well. I think we are. I think we are wrapping up here, guys. So again, uh, uh, every Wednesday, uh, we are going to play with the level machines. All right, so today is the Lapaboni. Uh, maybe fr uh, next week, I don't know. You, you, you got some few options, okay? I got my, uh, the Rock, R-O-K, the Rock is out there. Okay, I have a Rock is on my showroom. And also we have a Flare 58, okay? Flare 50, and also we have the Flare Nano, all right? And also I have, I have, it's called Hue, H-U-G-H, Hue from uh, one of uh, Korean, the lever coffee machine, okay? All right, hold on a second. The Jackie said in December, let's do a Lapaboni showdown. December, why December, Jackie? Okay. All right, Jackie, you know, let's make that happen this weekend if you want, okay? Let's make that happen this weekend because Jackie has a beautiful setup, though. All right, he, uh, he definitely put my setup to shame. Yeah, yeah so, yeah, we, we definitely will do the showdown with the Jackie, uh, hopefully next month for sure, hopefully sooner. And again, I don't know if you guys are following me uh, uh, regularly. Now, I can have a guest now on my YouTube live. Now I can add a guest. So I, I did a couple of sessions uh, last couple of days. Uh, we've been doing the latte art throwdown as well. By the way, if any latte artist watching right now, uh, email me, okay? And uh, I'd love to have you on our YouTube live. And you know, I mean, uh, give me some tips, okay? Give me some tips on it. It'd be a lot of fun. So uh, Jackie is uh, so Jackie has a, a calf attack, the MC4 right now, and he's upgrading to MC the Shuriken Burst. So 
Jackie, it's not the equipment, buddy. It's the operator. Okay. And the, uh, so Jack, you know what? I'm gonna put the Jackie's link as well. Jackie has a great lap of bony video, so yeah, I'm gonna put the link. Make sure to check it out. Okay, folks. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday afternoon. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me know which uh, which coffee machine you guys want to see next uh, Wednesday. Okay. If you guys if you guys want to see more lap bony, let me let me know that as well, because. Yeah, again, I mean, it's nobody talk about La Pavone, so I mean, this is such great classic coffee machine. I know even James Bond used it on one of his video as well, so yeah. Okay, folks, uh, see you guys tomorrow.